you'll never ever get to an exact mathematical circle. circle. But at some point you go, okay, this is close enough. I'm gonna build a tower, a circular tower. I don't need my precision to the extent of looking at a 10,000th or a hundred thousandth of an inch. So you can calculate, you can get that, right? You can get the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter, the ratio of the, the side of a square to its diagonal. You basically just create a square and then you take its diagonal and from that you create a rectangle. Now you can do a simple quick calculation and you will find out that the ratio of the diagonal to, of a square to its side is 1.414, 32562, something like that. It, but like pi, it goes forever. For practical purposes, there's no reason to go beyond 1.732 as a ratio. Where do you find the root three ratio? Well, it's the ratio of the long axis of the vesica to its width. So it shows up naturally in a geometric process, in a geometric mm -hmm. progression.